Okay, remember yesterday when I left, uh, when I was eating at Luigi's, that Italian restaurant? Yeah, I left my debit card there. I left it in like the little sleeve where you pay, and I can't get a hold of the restaurant. But thankfully, I have my savings card, and I was able to get money out of this, this bank, this bank right here. Does, I know it doesn't take bank, but trust me, it is. Um, so I can have money to, uh, to pay for the admission to the Walt Disney Family Museum, which is that second building right over there. And I was telling you I was going there, and this lady gave me a VIP card, which I believe has free admission. Isn't that cool? I cannot believe my luck. There, now you guys can see it. I, I can't believe this. Now, now, hopefully I'll just get my debit card back from from Luigi's. I keep calling him, no one ever answers. I don't know why. I guess I'm gonna have to go back there after all the museums, after done doing all the museums. But anyway, in the meantime, check this out. Look how beautiful this place is. This is called the Presidio. Excuse me if when I'm talking about it and I say the Presidium, I've been playing too much Mass Effect. Check this out. Isn't this beautiful? Oh yeah, right over there. That's can't see it anymore. That hill is the end of like where the the Golden Gate Bridge ends. Well, well, I'll show it to you on the way out. Oh, look, you can see Alcatraz again. So I guess I'm not too far from Luigi's. So, pretty cool, huh? Okay, so let's head over this way. It's a beautiful day, by the way. Like, everyone keeps telling me that San Francisco is not like this. But I like to think it is, or maybe I just knew I was coming, and maybe I don't, I don't do rain and drizzle and cold. But check it out. Here is the Walt Disney Family Museum. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Wow, that tree is amazing. Log of Trinity. I was here earlier because I asked them they had an ATM, and I love the way. Oh, let's say it. I love the way this sounds when you walk up these steps. Oh, there we go. Can you hear that? Oh, isn't that cool? Love places like this. Okay, let's go in and pay, or maybe not pay. I don't know, but <laughs> let's see what's going on. This is a Walt Disney Museum. That card really was a VIP card. That was so nice of that lady to give it to me. Look, this is like a, a sample of the apartment above the fireplace, firehouse that this now looks like. Do you guys remember this? It used to be on display at No Man's Dream at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I never thought I would see it ever again. Nice to know where it went. That is so cool. And of course there's a lot more here. Has won this many Oscars, Academy Awards. Wow. I'm sure there's some for Grammys too. Oh, uh, for those who don't know, this is uh, for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. There's one for Snow White, and then the Seven Little Ones for all the dwarves. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, this museum is like really huge. I am gonna stop vlogging so I can enjoy it, but I will give you the highlights, okay? So, really cool. this is just the first room. What's really cool is it smells like Mission Space in here. For those of you who are in the Mission Space, it has like a very distinct smell and it smells just like that in here. Kind of like theme clashing, you know, Mission Space is all futuristic and this is not.
called Warren River Apple. It was that for me. People came for miles around to see our orchard. I had two paths. One of my grandfather's a little more than that. He had a story. I don't think he was ever in a battle with the Civil War, but he was a god. And he was a godly old god. The Vermont was a retired doctor. His name was Dr. Sherwood. Dr. Sherwood had me come over one time. He was on my crane. He let me see the tablet. He was broke. He had a whipper for it. So he got me to the house. I was trying to do it wrong, and I could get one of the sticks down for a leg, and then Rupert to turn around. And I had a little profile. I was around the front view, and Doc could pull Rupert still. So it turned out to be quite a mess. He liked it. Waltz Father's Fiddle. Uh -huh. It was a big day, the day I got on that California military. I was just as free and happy, you know. It was in 1923 when I failed. I think it's important to have a good time to stay here when you're young. Wow, it didn't look like we were moving. It's amazing. These are all the colors that um, Walt used, well, the production company, for the three-step three step technicolor process. And this film's like, um, I guess like, it's like 15, you want to have a note maybe? Three years of college, two years of art school, five years of animation, grand total one half of her ten. Photograph taken during the live action filming of Peter Pan in 1953. The live action film was used to inform the actor animators work as part of the process known as retroscoping. It's pretty cool. Pretty sure that's Walt. That's pretty cool. Check this out. That's that's how big those are. This is pretty cool. In the early 1950s, Walt developed an idea for a series of miniature dioramas depicting historical Americana, with the idea of touring them throughout the country. He called the project Disney Anna and initially consulted with Eugene J. Kupchak, the builder, the builder of Mr. Thorne's room. That's interesting. That's so cool. Look how tiny these things are. It's like toys you would find like at like thrift stores when we were, my sister and I were little. Check out this view, guys. Oh my god. 
You should never realize that I'm in San Francisco. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, this is True Life Adventures. Oh, that's so cool. I think we're finally getting to the cool part. This is we're finally going to Disneyland. Let's find out. We go around the corner. The silver saddle, the princess saddle. Yep, Disneyland. Oh my god. This is so cool. Check this out guys, the original model of the Fantasyland Castle designed for Walt Disney. Wow, that is so cool. And for those of you that know the story, this is the way the castle is supposed to look. I don't know how it happened, but it, it turned out to look better if you turn it. You know, the top of the castle looked better when they turned it around this way. So this is the way the castle would have looked. And the way you see it now, that's the way it is. And so the front is actually the back, and the back is actually the front. I don't know if you knew that. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know if I can get the other side without dropping my phone, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Look familiar? <laughs> so yeah, there's a little trivia about the castle. This is a Circle Vision 360 camera. Um, I'm not sure if it's a 9 or the 11 model camera, but basically there's 9 or 11, 9 to 11 cameras that go around the circle and get a 360 degree view. <laughs> First, there were 11 cameras, and it was they would cut it back down to nine. I think this is the original one because, from what I remember, the newer ones um, they actually the cameras actually face a mirror, and the mirror provides the infinite focus. So this is like probably the original one that before they figured out that all these different cameras have different focal lengths and it made people sick. So with the, with, by having the camera face a mirror, they give it infinite focus and. Reduce nausea. I think also during the process they were able to reduce the cameras down to three. So this is probably the original Circle Vision 360 camera. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, here's there we go. This is a model that we have I'm not sure. I think it's throughout the ages. There's Space Mountain, and that wasn't around until 1977. There's, I mean, there's even the Haunted Mansion from the 60s. There's no Splash Mountain yet. There's no the Big Thunder yet. Oh my god, look at the detail. Oh, Wow, like Carousel of Progress. This is so cool. You can even see the Skyway. I just realized that. Sorry. That is so cool.
just for the entrance. It's a very sad day for everyone. It really was. Mickey Mouse is a backstop. Disney went on to do feature length pictures, beginning with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in 1937. Well, I think everybody pretty much felt they lost. That's it guys. That was amazing. That was so cool. I see the track and catch them every blur did before it closes. Okay guys, that was it. That that was the Walt Disney Film Museum. As, as you can see by the sign behind me. That was so cool. That was, that was so amazing. I loved how detailed it was. Sorry, I'm charging the iPhone, it's dead as, as you guessed. This backpack is really handy, but oh my god, that that was so cool, guys. I hope you guys, if you ever come to San Francisco, it's so worth it. It's only $20 per person, $12 for like children, up to 12, something like that. It's, it's not, it's, it's a, um, it sounds expensive, but it's so worth it. And you get to learn so much, and there's so much to see and do. And this area, as you can see, it's just so beautiful. Look at that. But yeah, that was it. That was the Walt Disney Family Museum. If you ever come to San Francisco, come check it out, guys. Well, let's figure out what we're gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next. I should probably um, go back to the apartment since I forgot my jacket and the sun setting soon. Um, but other than that, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Oh, I need to show you the view of the bay and the Golden Gate Bridge right over here. Okay, guys, there you go. So I have to shoot through a fence. 
I don't even know if you can hear me, but yeah, isn't, isn't that amazing? So cool. Love to live here. So I just walked into a uh, homeless vet who's in a wheelchair. Which, you know, you see, I see quite a few of them here. But what like, really struck me is that he had a sign for the kitty. And so, um, I asked him, like, he had, and he had a cat in, like, a little, like, ba basket next to him. And it breaks me hard. Like, not only is he homeless, but, like, the cat is too. But he's got, like, you know, he doesn't have anything. And he goes out of his way to give food for not only for himself, but for the cat. And it was like, really cool, so I gave him all my ones, which is, like, three or four of them. Not that much, I know, but... Oh, it's just like breaks my heart, but at least he's 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 like helping. He doesn't have anything. He's helping a cat. That's a pretty cool. Oh, I think that's how far I would be if I was homeless. Well, anyway, um, finally found a turn turntable, but just missed it. I was too busy petting the kitty and talking to the homeless man. But oh well, maybe we'll see the next one. Let's check this out, guys. So this is how a turntable works. The car comes down in here, and it stops right here, and then these guys manually rotate it, pretty almost like 180 degrees, and then it lands up that way, and then they push the car manually that way, and all those people are getting on. And even though I have to get on this particular trolley, I'm going to wait for the next one because I want to see this so badly. And you see right there, like there's a spur or storage track. For like just storing trains. Isn't that cool? Or sorry, trolley cars. But we're gonna wait for the next one. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Your, your friend teach me uh, Sunday. Oh, you can look me. so easy, oh, too. As soon as you stop, push. Yeah. <laughs> so let, let the car work for you. Yeah. Sometimes if you. Uh, Wow, that was amazing. Check it out, guys. Riding on the back of a San Francisco cable car. One of these days, I'll do it in the meantime, I promise. I don't know if you can hear me. about a sign. And we'll get to go there tomorrow since so they make it a day. So this must be Washington Mason. Did you see the cables? That's what's powering us right now.